Oh! I didn't even notice that. What has we here? Cool. Glad I wasted my time and everyone else is doing that. Fantastic. Uh oh, what do you do? Ow. Hello, hello everybody. My name is Nuke Fox and welcome to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is going to be a very fun playthrough and a specifically fun first episode. And let me explain to you why. I have not streamed in two weeks and I might my chops for content creation are pretty dead right now. So that's fun. I haven't made a video for YouTube in God knows how long. So that's fun. Uh, my audio sounds weird. It's because I dropped my microphone, like, off the desk. <laughs> yeah, oh it, oh, it keeps coming. Um, what, 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 uh, what else was there? There was more. There's definitely more. Oh, right. Um, the reason why I haven't finished Twilight Princess... If you look on my channel, there's a playthrough of Twilight Princess where I did like a three heart hero mode run. Um, my Wii U broke. So, like, the disk drive just went kaput, and I didn't have a digital version on that same Wii U. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's gone too. Uh, same with my. Um... Is there something else I was playing on that Wii U? I don't think so. Anyway, so yeah, all that fun stuff, and uh, Destiny is cancelled indefinitely because my capture card decided it didn't want to work with my Xbox anymore, and it just has been giving me nothing but grief. So... <laughs> it's just been a whole, whole debacle, but hopefully... Okay. <laughs> Don't scare me like that game, good lord. Hopefully we'll have some fun, we'll have a good time. I haven't played Ocarina of Time in I don't know how many years, so... As long as I've served with the Guardian Spirit, I is known as the Deku Tree. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to read this. Children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own Guardian Fairy. Guardian? Is that what you call them? One boy who does not have a fairy, and he sleeps with his eyes open, apparently. There's animation of him blinking. <laughs> what the heck? He just had his eyes closed, Nintendo? Call that a bad situation to be in. I mean, really. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Hast thou sentient the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. So long the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. Was the Kokiri Forest are like just the border of Hyrule? For this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now, find our young friend, and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fate of the forest, nay, the world depends on thee. Yes, all depends on the one tiny little fairy. Also, I have a further technical issue. I apologize if my microphone is quiet. I kind of updated OBS, and I don't know if it's OBS or just my microphone, but I have, like, the gain turned almost all the way up. I think I gotta go fix my settings, but they're not different than what they were before. I don't know. I don't know, OBS is weird, man. Ah, uh, Navi, come on. You're better than that. 
So this is not going to be a speed run. It's not going to be a challenge run. It's not going to be a 100% playthrough. I'm just playing Ocarina of Time. Just to play Ocarina of Time. Hello. Link, wake up. The great Deku tree wants to talk to you. <laughs> Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Look, he's going through some stuff, alright, Navi? You got attacked by Ganondorf in your dreams, you wouldn't want to wake up either. What if he's in the room with you? Finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Q. Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. How, how Navi is like the Legend of Zelda equivalent of the Lakitu in Mario 64 is like... People might find the whole camera and targeting thing weird, so let's give it a character. Which I think is pretty cool, the way they did that. Let's get going. What's up, Zarya? Oh, a fairy! Finally a fairy came to you, Link! Well, that's great news, I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? Quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. Cool. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played Ocarina of Time on an actual Nintendo 64. I had it on my Wii from like the Wii Shop channel. I played the 3DS version, but I've never actually played it on a 64. I have it, I just never played it on the 64. Okay, pick up the... Oh, I, can't, I can't pick those up. Okay, that's just that's just for target practice. Alright. Oh, these controls are weird. Oh, I gotta enter, okay. Then I had to press the crouch button like Wind Waker. It's been many a year since I've played Ocarina of Time. I haven't played it since, like, about the time the 3DS version came out. No, I played the heck out of the 3DS version. Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Look, Navi, I'm busy. Oh, like, I played the, um... Like, my, my tracking is gonna be weird. I'm sorry, my head goes all over the place. If you've watched me before, you know I, I do that, like I move my head as I play games and my tracking just kind of picks up on that and all of a sudden I'm just looking... It looks like I'm not looking at the screen, but I am, I promise. Uh, visit the house of the know-it-all brothers to get answers to all your item-related questions. Cool, I don't need that. Thank you. That's a sword. Curious sword, that's a... Uh... That's a dagger, man. <laughs> you can just call it a dagger. Hidden treasure with Kokiri, if you can borrow it for a while, be sure to practice with it before you really fight. I have to, I have to equip it. Okay. And I, like I said, I bought Ocarina on my N64. I haven't played it. I don't even know if it works. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I bought it off of eBay. And I don't even know if it works. Be real with you. I bought Majora's Mask. Yeah, Majora's Mask looks great. I actually bought Majora's Mask on a whim. I was at a game store in town, and I just had it in complete in-box in nice condition for not cheap. <laughs> but I was like, ah, I just picked up an extra shift. I can afford a copy of Majora's Mask. And I played through most of it. I got through the Stone Tower Temple all the way, and I never I never got to Skull Kid because I was like, I'm going to go get all the pieces of heart. And then I got bored. <laughs> I do that a lot, though. That's, that's just my brain go burr. Now I gotta buy a shield next. I don't remember how much the shield is, but now I gotta buy the shield. I can't click the one he's... I'm not using... An official Nintendo 64 controller. It is a Nintendo 64 controller. Of that, I can assure you, but it's not an official... Nintendo 64 controller, so the controls are just a little bit jank. Moving around. A little more sensitive than what a traditional controller would be. 
rubies did I need? Was it 20 or 30? I don't even remember. I was running around a little bit. But I remember the first time I saw Ocarina of Time. It was the first time I had seen any Legend of Zelda game. Or no, the first time I had seen any Legend of Zelda game, I was at a friend's house and he had um, a collector's edition on GameCube. And the, I loaded up the demo of Wind Waker, and I was like, whoa, what is this? It was, it was just so different than anything I'd seen before. And then he uh, he showed me Ocarina of Time. He kind of came in like, what are you doing? It's just a demo. And I'm like, I don't know. It looked cartoony and silly. I wanted to play it. I'm, I'm nine. What do you want from me? <laughs> he showed me Ocarina of Time. I remember he was, he was Adult Link, and he went to Zora's Domain. And like he had to play the ocarina to get into the waterfall, and I was like, "Whoa!" And I went in, and every he went in, and everything was all frozen. And I was like, "Whoa!" Blew my mind. This was like well into the GameCube era again, and it still was like, "Whoa!" You know, such a cool thing. Kind of feel bad to have played this game in like eight years or something. It's been a it's been a hot minute. I remember the gist of what I had to have to do, because I've been watched the game girls play this I don't know how many times. Which, you know, we can we could go on about that playthrough all day. <laughs> oh, hello Game Grumps fans, where are you at? Ah, there you go, that'll give me a 30. Door? Yeah, I've been... I've been... Look this way, uh, look over here... No, I don't want to. Oh, it's 40 rupees? Oh, that's... Price gougy. Oh, is this the 2024 economy? Come on, now. I've been... Last time I streamed, I streamed, uh... Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. And... Since then, I went through, like... Another one of my depressive phases where I just get like the real bad imposter syndrome. So I made a, a whole TikTok about quitting. I made a TikTok just like a, a, a PNG with text on it. <laughs> and then I remember that there was a streamer friend of mine. Uh, we're, we're both pretty sm we're both small streamers, and we kind of made kind of a pact with each other that you know kind of a I won't give up if you won't either. I made a TikTok about that, and I was like, well, back to it, I guess. But I've been sick <laughs> for two weeks. I haven't been able to stream or do anything. Miracle, I've been able to even go to work. I've spent, like, I don't know how many hours this week just working on avatars. Like the one you see before you now. Just finished this one right before I started recording. I very much like I had problems. With the Hopkin Redux before it, it, it. Last time I tried to up to fix it up, I like, um, blech. English out of my mouth. You, you, can you tell I don't do vocal warm-ups before I start recording? God, you might not even see this recording depending on how bad the the audio is. Right, but um, I, there was like problems with the textures exporting it from Substance Painter, like it didn't wrap all the way around the model like there was there would be like um lines where you could see where the mesh was supposed to to join up it just wouldn't join up properly i was like i don't know how to fix this and i talked to some friends of mine like yeah you have to do this like how do i do that i don't know <laughs> oh cool thanks i i did um one of my friends did make a uh custom texture for the Hopkin Redux that he put on uh, on Gumroad, and I used that for a little bit, but it's just the fact that, like, it wasn't my texture. I'll back to that in a second. If you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Oh, you have the Deku Shield, and I have the Kokiri Sword. The great Mido will never accept. Blah blah blah. I don't care. Still weed. But yeah, I don't like using textures on avatars if they're not if they're not my textures. I feel I feel weird. I don't know why. 
it's because it's like I know how to retexture now. To an extent, I don't know how to like make a custom texture in uh, Substance Painter or anything. But I can like recolor stuff. That's what I did with this one. I just recolored one of the textures it came with. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. The slumber of these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. And no joke. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Ah, that'll be the ether, I reckon. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. Blah blah blah, yes. Cool. Open in the tree. I know that's... Is that supposed to be, like, his mouth, or just, like, part of him that he opens? I never... I don't see that as his mouth. I just see that as, like, an opening in the tree. I don't know. That's just me. Try to get through the Deku tree, this video. I'm gonna try to do something kind of significant every episode. I don't want episodes to be too short, but I don't want them to be too long. You know how it'd be. Kind of the eternal struggle. Like I want to make, I want to make it worth the time with the person watching it, but I also like don't want it to go too long and waste people's time. A map right here. Look at this wall. The vines growing on it give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it. Like yeah, that's the tutorial I wish they would have given you in Wind Waker. You just told me that, Navi. Um, like, because in Wind Waker, um, there's a, there's a point where you have to, like, sneak into the bomb shop. And to get there, you have to climb the vines on the back, but I had never played A Legend of Zelda before. So I didn't know you could do that. And I literally went around the entire Great Sea, mapped every single island. And, uh, <laughs> and eventually I was just like, cause, like, I think I gotta go in the bomb shop, I don't know, I didn't even look anything up, I don't think. And just, uh, I eventually just figured it out. Give you a clue, will you let me go? No, you must suffer. Up off a high cliff, if you hold the control stick forward, you're well on the ground. Get hurt. Can't guarantee it'll work though, if the cliff is really, really high. Yes, I know. Thanks for the heart, I don't need. I say that now, and later I'm gonna absolutely need those hearts. Slingshot. Oh, and is this important? No. Okay. Level my phone beeps to give me information I'm already aware of. So I've, I think the only Zelda I've actually finished on the YouTube or Twitch is Wind Waker, and I did like a 10 hour long play of like a hero mode 3 heart run. Which was pretty, pretty doable until I got the Ganon, to be real. I eventually figured him out. But I do plan on eventually going back and doing like a more thorough playthrough of Wind Waker. I might do that on stream. I need to go back. I, got, I have to restart Twilight Princess because my Wii U just decided no. Oh, do I not get those Deku nets? Thanks. <laughs> I mean, then there's Majora's Mask, and then there's all the 2D Zeldas. I started a one of the original Zelda. I never finished it. I'm not super big on the original Zelda. Maybe it was just like Brain Go Burr moment. I don't remember. Hear you.
I actually have like a lot of the solos and I haven't played a lot of them. Which, you know, speaks volumes about how much I play. <laughs> I'm the type of person who will play the same game 50,000 times and won't play any of the new games he gets. Anything with that, that's fine. Something over there. Ow. Excuse you, sir. So I have to try these. I've never used Deku Nets actively. But I have to I have to see what, what they're capable of. I've heard I've heard there's ways to like act use them efficiently. Ow. I am dying. What's in here? Oh cool, a heart. You mean the heart that I lost trying to get to that heart? Cool, thanks. <laughs> Fantastic. Glad I did that. Map screen. Uh, probably there's another chest down there. Is this the... Yeah, so there's another chest through here. I'm gonna try to be thorough in the dungeons. Or at least somewhat thorough in the dungeons. Oh! I didn't even notice that. What has we here? Cool. Glad I wasted my time and everyone else is doing that. Fantastic. Uh oh, what do you do? Ow. I gotta climb all the way back up. The curiosity had to get the better of me. So I remember that you need the uh, the Ghost Skull Tullus to get bigger wallets, but I don't remember how many for each wallet. I think it's 20 for the first one. Which, can I just say, I hate mechanics like that. It's like, find all the hidden things, and I, I, I hate that. Like, I really do. It just it just feels like senseless padding to me. Wow, I didn't know I could screw that jump up so bad. Here we are. This controller's kind of giving me the blues here. What has we here? Let me recovery heart. The first level, you sure are giving me a lot of recovery hearts. I can't jump attack that high. Healing stop. Oh, I gotta like. There we go. 
That's another gold skull tunnel. That shall take. Well, I don't know how many gold skull tullas are in each dungeon. I think if I like look at the map. And there's a little Skulltulla on the map screen. That means I got all the Skulltullas in that room. Or that dungeon, rather. I think. Don't quote me on that, I, but I think. Oh, yeah, that's another another uh, YouTube series that I just remembered I can't finish. Pikmin 2, because not only is my... Is my <laughs> capture card on the fridge, my GameCube's on the fridge, too. I mean, I could use my Wii, but it makes no, no sense with my capture card on the fridge, anyway. We'll, we'll go back to it again eventually, but we'll never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. I think I'm a traitor. Why would I think you're a traitor? What, what prompted that? Were we ever on the same side? Oh, oh you're betraying your brothers. Okay. Maybe that's what you're doing. You get into the water, you hold down A, you can dive. Things underwater, bloody bloody blah. Yes, I know, Navi. Press A to move things. Played Legend of Zelda before. But I don't know why you can't skip it, because that way if you, if you skip it, people will be like, Well, you didn't give me instructions! Go, so, come on. Good about giving you deck, you sticks. Yeah, I need a bomb for that. Right? No way, that's not a bomb door, but there's no bombs. Maybe if I come back with bombs, and... What are you? I? I? Where are you? Goma Larva. Oh. Ew. Gross. I don't think I've ever seen those things before. They don't look familiar. Yeah. 
dock here. Um, hmm. Oh, this is back where I was before. This is a shortcut. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I got it figured out. Nothing to it, really. Nope. Two, three. One. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Hmm. Oh, is this the boss room? That's a very anticlimactic boss door. Oh, there's the boss door. Hi, Goma. You look cooler in Wind Waker. I'm just gonna say it. I feel like a hand spider. Really, that's pretty cool. You down here. Oh wow, that's <laughs> okay. Uh, I started wailing on her, she just didn't know what to do. Awesome, I'll take it. Alright, I'll take that. Uh, now we get to listen to plot again. Well done, Link. What's up, Tree? Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. New thou would be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell ye. What's the listen? Yeah, sure, I'm already here. Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. Desert where the wind brings only death. Wind Waker reference. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerous powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Owlod. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. The 
Den, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Aurora, the goddess of courage. I like how they're just the same, like, gold statue models is what they look like. Oh, N64 graphics. Den. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Baroi, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. Three great goddesses, their labels, labors completed, departed for the heavens, and the golden and golden sacred triangles remained to the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of these triangles has become the sacred realm. The three goddesses just came down, made the earth, and said, "Deuces." <laughs> That's it. Hey, you guys get to fight over these triangles now. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. Doesn't he have, like, the Triforce of power? The evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. I guess I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of... These important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take the stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. Oh snap. It looks like the emblem of my shield. I was literally, like, last week years old when I realized that the Kokiri Emerald looks like the Deku symbol on Link's Deku shield. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi the Fairy helped Link to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Good I. Those leaves turned red quick. Oh. That man grayed up real fast, didn't he? Well, oh, that's sad. The first dungeon out of the way, we've been going a good enough amount of time. I think it's a good enough place as any to go ahead and call it for an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I have. Get to finally be back recording something. <laughs> I haven't recorded anything in I don't know how long. The balance between streaming and recording in life is, is, is a difficult one to to, to meet. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get more YouTube content out there. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like and let me know. Leave a comment let me know what you think about Ocarina of Time. Subscribe for more coming your way very soon, and I hope to see you all in the next video.